My name is Graham Black. I'm a professor of genetics and ophthalmology working at the Manchester Royal Eye Hospital. Clinically, I see patients with rare inherited disorders associated with visual disability. Genomics is becoming increasingly important in ophthalmology. I think it's fair to say at the moment it's seen somewhat within an ivory tower and therefore not relevant to the general ophthalmologist. The pity of that is that the testing is now available and it's relevant to rare eye conditions that are seen by all ophthalmologists from time to time. It's something that should be available to all patients to whom it's relevant and the opportunities that come from that for management, for diagnosis and for screening are huge. There are two groups of inherited conditions basically. There are rare conditions which are not common but if you put them together they're collectively very important in ophthalmology. By that we're talking about childhood conditions such as congenital cataract, inherited retinal disease, early onset forms of glaucoma. It's important to recognize that later onset conditions, age-related macular degeneration, primary open angle glaucoma, also have a strong genetic basis and the understanding of that genetic basis is going to become increasingly common. In Manchester, we've run testing for genetic eye conditions since around about 2004. And up until 2012, that testing was very limited. So that the diagnostic rates, for example, for inherited retinal disease was about 8 to 12 percent. Genomic testing, that's to say testing of multiple genes at the same time, has rapidly improved that such that testing for inherited retinal diseases, there's a pickup rate of between 60 and 70 percent now. For inherited cataract, the, the diagnostic rate has moved from 4 to 70 percent. The importance of that is in providing early diagnosis and therefore determining and improving management and treatment, but also improving the likelihood of offering testing for family members. If we look at inherited eye disorders, cataract, glaucoma, inherited retinal diseases, they're very heterogeneous. They look the same, but they can have multiple different causes. So the first place that genomic testing can be used is in providing a diagnosis, in stratifying a group of conditions and providing an accurate diagnosis for an individual. Once that's done, much earlier than it was before, it's then possible to determine whether the condition that's been diagnosed can be treated, what the risks are for the wider family, and in determining whether there should be screening for other family members. So if we take inherited retinal disorders and we apply genomic diagnosis, we can identify a subgroup, for example, a subgroup of those with Leber's congenital amaurosis that require screening for systemic complications such as renal failure. For me, the single most important fact about genomics is that it's available, it's important, and it's here now. It's going to provide a transformation in the diagnosis of children's eye conditions, rare eye conditions, inherited retinal diseases, and it's going to lead to changes in how we manage those conditions. I think it's going to be critical for ophthalmologists to know how to access testing, but also to know where they're going to access the results and how a general ophthalmologist can be supported in giving the results back to the patients and in designing a management plan for those patients. And so this is about ensuring that the health system is connected between geneticists, ophthalmologists, genetic counsellors, and the patient.